Hey everybody, it's me Nea. Hope you guys are having a good time learning tasty and simple new recipes from my channel on a weekly basis. Also, thank you for your constant love and support to our channel. And to our new viewers, don't forget to subscribe to Miracles of Taste Buds. Only your likes and comments will encourage me to upload more recipes in times to come. Meanwhile, today I'm going to show you how to make steamed ginger chicken. You will need 500 grams of chicken. You can choose to keep or remove the skin. I prefer keeping the skin. 3 to 5 inches of ginger. It comes up to approximately half a cup. Feel free to adjust according to your taste buds. Just cut them into long matchstick sizes and it should be good to go. These are the flavoring you will need. Thai fish sauce, Worcestershire sauce, light soy sauce, shiny sesame oil, and oyster sauce. Pour in 2 teaspoons sesame oil. You can add more if you want to. About half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, or you can also use balsamic vinegar or any black vinegar that you have at home. Add about 3 to 4 dashes of fish sauce. Then add 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce which I had forgotten to record in this video. Also no, you will not need any salt as long as you are using soy sauce and oyster sauce in this dish. So I'm going to use some fried garlic and fried dry chili instead of fresh ones for this recipe as I'm not a fan of raw garlic flavour. Well, this is easy. Heat a pan over high flame on the stove. Then reduce it to medium to low flame. Add in 2 tablespoons of oil into the pan. Add in some chopped garlic and fry over low flame till golden brown. Then add in the dried chilies and fry along. Ta da! We are done with our fried garlic and chilies. Now let's marinate the chicken. Make sure the chicken is not too wet. Try to use a paper towel to remove any excess wetness on the chicken. Firstly, you pour in the mixed sauces onto the chicken. You can give it a quick toss if you want to or you can let it be as it is. Sprinkle the fried garlic and chilies all over the chicken. Make sure it's spread all around the chicken last but not least this is my favorite part sprinkle the cut ginger on top of the marinated chicken Let the chicken sit for about 20 to 30 minutes for marinating purposes. Now that the chicken is well marinated, let's move to the steaming part. Prepare a convenient steamer, pour in enough water, let it boil vigorously. Then place the pan of marinated chicken on top of it. Cover with a lid and cook for about 20 minutes over medium flame. Ensure the fire is not high to allow the chicken cook thoroughly for the rest of the 20 minutes. Our steamed ginger chicken is now ready to be served. I'll be serving it with some piping hot rice. What about you? 
share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to also hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Love you all.